Oh, this is not gonna feel good at all. This is not gonna feel good. Oh. Oh. for me next. So we're at the Minister Creek Trailhead and I'm hoping to just do the whole loop, I don't know. I'm not sure which direction I'll go, but we're here and uh, yeah, I just haven't really decided which way I feel like going. I might go this way first, or I might go this way first, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping to camp somewhere around in here. But that's the only plan, other than just do the whole loop. I thought there'd be some other cars in the parking lot. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy or maybe they know something that I don't. I don't know. So I believe that is the trailhead right there. Let's get this on. So, middle loop goes that way. I don't know. For some reason, I'm just in, I'm in the mood to go up. So I'm going this way. Up. Look at this water pipe. I could still hear water running, but it's obviously frozen, pouring out of there. Okay, south loop connector. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep going this way. I don't know, let me check the map just to make sure. It looks like we're right here. And that path going off to the right, to the right is the south loop connector and the left is the south loop. So far, it's been a pretty easy hike. I think I'm gonna keep going to the left and try and get the full Minister Creek experience here. I'm gonna do the whole thing. Just FYI, our trail marker for this trip is a white diamond. Don't forget that. Look at this giant boulder. It's like as big as an apartment building. I feel like I'm back in the city again with tall buildings. All right, so the trail goes that way. 
up there somewhere. But before we go over there, it looks like there's something really cool happening over here. First of all, this rock face is just ginormous. And there's uh, little frozen water flows coming off of the top of it. Check this one out over here. Oh man, nice trail. Look how nice this is. And you get kind of a view the whole time. It's all very rocky. Look at this. There's like cliffs down here and stuff. Don't get too close to the edge. Oh man. That is not a fall you would want to take. Nope. Not a good place to fall. It's like you have a, a pine needle carpet. <laughs> the trail makes a sharp right turn for no apparent reason. And goes down through this narrow chasm, which is, I'm guessing, very icy and very slippery. So, I might want to take extra caution here not to kill myself. Yikes. Yikes, I'm trying to not step on the ice because it's very steep here. So the trail comes out from here and then it goes down there. Yeah, so I made it through there. Um, <clears throat> I really didn't want to film it because I, you kind of need both hands to get through there and uh, the ground is a solid sheet of ice there so there's no place to even put your foot down. I basically uh, walked down on my hands holding myself up using the rocks. Uh, yeah, it's probably it's probably fun in the summertime, but when the when you're seeing like ice covered rock It can be dangerous And we're coming out of the tunnel Looks like a cave over there Onward. It's very quiet out here. I'm trying to hear anything. <laughs> it's so quiet. There's not a, a bird chirp or a squirrel or... Can't hear a thing. Now this looks like something coming up here, like a big reveal or something. Some kind of view maybe. The trail is leading me towards the the immediate horizon here of this of this bluff that I'm on, I guess. It's got to be something at the edge of this thing, right?
Okay, let's go check out the Minister Valley Overlook. Oh man, I'm not going up there. Look at all that ice. I am not going up there. Am I? Man. That's probably not a good idea. That's probably not a smart move. Oh. That's probably not a good idea. And yet, why am I still moving towards it? Oh, so far I'm avoiding the ice. Alright, so we can go just to the safe area here. I'm not going to get anywhere near the edge. Okay. Let's keep moving. See if I can get out of here without killing myself. Gotta get me some micro spikes. Oh, gotta put that on my shopping list. Okay, North Loop. Alright, we gotta check the map here to make sure we get going in the right direction. Here's where we are. And that's the way we wanna go right there. North Loop. Alright, let's move out. So that's where I just came from. And this is where the trail goes. I feel like, this feels like, um, I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings or something. And I'm about to go up the steps of a, of a castle. Ice. Oh, here we go again with the ice. Really gotta, really gotta pay attention to your footing here. All right, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need two hands to make sure I don't kill myself here. This is a, this is just a bobsled run right here. Pretty awesome though. The way out. Or, if you slip, that's the way out. That's the hard way to get out. I don't want to go that way. I would try to go this way. Yep. Well, that was fun. I guess we're going down this away. So this looks like this looks like Manhattan here from from the Jersey side. Giant wall of rocks. Alrighty, so I came all the way down the hill and we're getting close to a a creek here. So I see at least a couple of different ways across this. I could uh, step on those two rocks right there, or I could go over here and go one, two, three. Not sure which way I like better. I think this way's narrower, so I'm gonna go this way. There we go. Okay. Step right there, step right there, and we're good. See, that was easy. So nice here. It's like a picture postcard. It's 
So maybe this is a good time to uh, take a water break and make sure the water in my bottle is not frozen. It's yeah, it's not super cold out. It's it's below freezing, but it's uh, like 30 degrees. So if you're coming up this part of the trail, you might want to tiptoe when you come under this tree because it is barely hanging on, held up by this other tree. And, and yeah. So, this is an interesting section. Uh, a lot of bare trees stripped of their branches. A lot of down trees. This whole uh, section is very open. And then even below me, it continues on. Being very open and lots of down trees. Very windy up here. Pretty cool. Creepy and cool and creepy. I'm pretty sure this is the trail, but I'm not really seeing any trailblazes in this direction. I'm backtracking now. Pretty sure this is the, I mean, you can tell just by looking at the trampled ground here, you can tell this is the trail. So, sometimes you get trees blow down and it's so messy that it completely obscures the trail itself. And, we might have to get around it somehow and then find the trail on the other side. Or sometimes what happens is the trail makes a the trail makes a sharp turn and you and you just lose it because you're not paying attention. That happens to me a lot. So let's see what we got up here. So far it still looks like a legit trail. Yeah, I don't see anything down there, and I think I think the trail just goes through here, and it's just got a little messy here because of some blowdown. But I believe it continues on right there. We can fairly certain, or I'm just completely bushwhacking at this point entirely possible. No, I feel like I'm on a trail. Yeah, there's a footprint. There's footprints. Not made by me. Okay. Yeah. Not lost yet. Oh, there's a trailblaze right there. across the stream, so now I know we're not lost. Yeah. All right, so I came down from there and now I'm in this really cool area with the stream. That's gotta be, that's gotta be Minister Creek, I'm assuming. And the trail goes this way, and I have a very good feeling that we may be very close to finding camp. It looks like there's a lot of cool places around here to camp, so it's getting exciting. Can't wait. So there was that little hill right there that I came down, and I came over this way, and I crossed on this little all this blowdown stuff over here. I crossed, I came across on that stuff right here. So it turns out, it looks like the trail did go, go this way and maybe there was, maybe there was an easier way. Oh well, but I got across and uh, there's a blaze right there. So 
we're either going to just keep going this way or just find a place to camp. Not really sure. It's so nice here that I don't really want to keep on hiking. I'd rather just pitch camp. Looks like somebody's over there already. Looks like there's a camp already. Alright, so I may have to wander around here for a while until I find something. Alright, we'll see. Found a place to camp. <laughs> and it's right by the stream, which is pretty nice. And it's starting to snow. You can see I'm getting snow on my tarp a little bit here, which is kind of cool because the first time that ever happened for me. It's pretty neat. And I'm pretty much all set up here uh, for sleeping, but um, the ground is too icy. The ground is like solid ice, so I couldn't get the, the tent stakes in. So I tied off my tarp with some branches here and here so it's kind of working a little bit it's not perfect but there's some sag in it these aren't real heavy but I don't know I could have I could have gotten heavier ones but I was hoping to save those for for a campfire so I still got to cut this up into smaller smaller pieces and here's a fire ring and there's some wood over there lots of down downed wood over there over there so it's not a bad setup it's kind of cool yeah I want to get a better log for this thing this thing's this sag is bothering me I don't want I don't want snow to build up here you know on this sag you can see the sag oh well I was hoping to have a campfire but maybe I won't have one now yeah. Maybe I'll just lay in my hammock and watch the watch the river. Let's see, what's my view from in here? Uh, I can kind of see it if I get in here. I can kind of see the river going by out there. And I can bang the snow off of here whenever I need to. So, kind of fun. All right. Just a quick update here. Uh, it snow's still coming down, and uh, I got a bigger, bigger branch, longer one, a little heavier. It's doing a little better job. Nothing's gonna really be that perfect. Uh, so that setup is pretty much ready to go, I, and I think I've given up on the idea of trying to have a campfire. Um, so, I'm actually really close to the trail. So right here is the trail. There's a trailblaze right there. And uh, you could kind of see me back in there a little bit, but you know, that, that tree that I'm behind is kind of giving me a little bit of, a little bit of privacy back there, which is nice. So, and I don't think anybody's gonna really be out here at this time anyway. It's gonna be dark soon. It's snowing kind of pretty though. So I walked over here to this side, the other side of the trail, and uh, basically I'm just checking out, checking out the neighborhood. These are my footprints right here. The snow is very deep over here. And man, you look around and it's like a winter wonderland here. And it's so pretty out here. And I'm going to sleep so comfortable and warm. Doesn't sound like a bad evening. I mean, if you can't have a fire, I mean, I could probably have a fire. I just don't feel like sitting out and getting wet and getting pounded with snow. So, this is kind of fun. It's amazing to be out here. And then I'm going to go get into my hammock. And I'll think about cooking dinner maybe from the hammock. Yeah, I gave up on making a fire. It's not really snowing anymore, but what I want to do is just lay here and relax and watch the river. The 
This is pretty nice, I have to say. I'm just feeling kind of lazy right now. I'm feeling more lazy than I am hungry. Um, what time is it? So it's like 6.30. And it's about 27 degrees. Yeah, I took a little nap. I just didn't feel like doing anything. I was tired. And, uh, trying to eat some food. Maybe that'll help me warm up a little bit. I was, uh, I was a little bit chilly for a minute there. Which seems odd. But I think it's just that I don't have any food in me. So... I'm having some, uh, I'm, I'm rehydrating some, some chicken salad here. And it takes about 15 or 20 minutes to rehydrate, so I'm just letting it soak a little bit. And I'll put some mayonnaise in there and eat that. So, I decided to eat that because it doesn't really require any cooking. You know, maybe if I eat that, maybe that'll be an appetizer and I'll get the energy up to, uh, want to cook a hot meal or maybe I'll just go to bed I don't, I don't know but it is pretty nice to be out here I have to say so that's where I'm at right now it's very dark out here and it's still snowing here let's go see let's go this way I guess I don't know if you can really see. It's still kind of snowing. And I still have to keep smacking the snow off on my tarp every once in a while. Everything's covered in snow. Yep. Oh man. I gotta make sure I stay dry. Alrighty. I'm eating dinner. This is actually my lunch. But the good thing about this is that I don't have to eat it fast because I don't have to worry about it getting cold. Because it's already cold. But man, you can still hear the uh, you can still hear the rain. I guess it's snow or sleet or something. I can't tell what it is. But you can hear it hitting the tarp. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll bat some snow off of it. So, not sure what this is going to look like in the morning. I hope it holds up. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's about it's about one in the morning, and this is about the second time that I've woken up thinking that it was that it must be like dawn or you know early morning. And the first time I woke, I woke up, it was 10.30. I must have nodded off and slept pretty well and woke up thinking that a lot of time had passed and that it was morning and it was only 10.30. And then went back to sleep and here I am again. It's 1 a.m. So I figured I would get up and at least go use the bathroom or something. So I've done that already. And... Uh, but it's just kind of interesting out here. It's, uh, a lot of snow has fallen. Everything is now covered in a fresh layer of snow. It's extremely, extremely dark out here. You can see the stream over here. These are all my footprints. And there was a lot of a lot of fresh snow on my tarp that I had to brush off. It's 
So it's pretty nice out here. Long night. And it feels good to just sleep for a long time. And I'm toasty warm in here. So it's interesting to see all my all my footprints from earlier this evening all now partially filled in with new snow. Yeah, so far it's been really quiet around here. So anyway, back to bed. And I'll be looking forward to having some coffee in the morning. Oh man, I slept really good. I slept for a long time. Whew. Man, what time is it? 7.30? Yeah. And what is the temperature right now? 26. Wow, but I'm, I was toasty warm the whole night. You know, I'm very, very toasty warm right now. Uh, I don't feel like getting out of bed to get the coffee. <laughs> Crap. Oh. It's the only way coffee will happen is if I do it. Alright. Coffee must happen. It's a, it's a serious winter wonderland around here. So, I had to put the... Uh, alcohol stove on a little piece of reflectix here because the snow was just robbing it of all the heat and the, the stove couldn't stay burning it would it would light and then it just would conk out so I think it's working now mmm uh, yes I'm actually drinking coffee in the snow I already ate my breakfast. I had oatmeal. I had to eat it so fast before it got cold. As soon as I'm done this coffee, I'm going to pack everything up and get on the trail. Hopefully I can find the trail. I almost don't remember yesterday when there was no snow on the ground. It was just, it's just weird. Alrighty. This camp is broken down and that's where it was. Everything is on my back. And it's about, it's about 30 degrees. It's about 10.30 right now. I wasted a lot of time uh, trying to make my coffee with the alcohol stove. Uh, but that's okay. Everything is a learning process. Alright, so we are leaving camp. Ugh. And I thought I saw the sun trying to come out. So, maybe we'll get some sun, I don't know. Now to find the trail. 
So here's where we left off with the trail. That's the last known trail marker. And we're gonna go this away. And hopefully not get lost. Man, I've only gone about 20 steps and it is just beautiful out here. It is gorgeous. We have the, a little bit of blue sky over there. You got your stream over there. Just snow covered woods. But the trail is very, you can't tell by looking, but it's very icy. So there's a fresh coating of snow on top of what is basically ice underneath. Absolutely, absolutely worth the price of admission. Off track again. Apparently I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Started following some animal trail or something and I'm way off track. All right, so now I'm backtracking. This is what I do. This is what makes it fun, right? Well, we'll figure it out. And of worst case, I'll just camp another night. Why not, right? Okay, so I came back and uh, there's a blaze right there, which means this is officially the trail. And uh, what I did was I kept going that way because I didn't see any bridges any way across. And, but what I missed was over here, on this tree right over here, there's a blaze right there. What does that mean exactly? I have to cross over here? <sighs> that is gonna be fun. Not much. So, yeah, I could walk across, get my feet all cold. I could maybe do that. It might be, that might be the better option than trying to climb across something like that. I don't think I want to mess with that. I'd rather just suck it up, get across, and get on with the trail. Woo, it's gonna be cold. That is gonna be cold. All right. I say let's, uh, I say let's man up and just go, go for it. I'm gonna put my uh, aqua shoes on. <laughs> I'd rather do that and just tough it out than to try to find a dry way to get across by scooting across some tree branch or something and, and then end up falling in and getting soaked completely. Sometimes you try too hard to make it easy and you make it harder. So let's get this done. Got my water shoes on. I'm about to step out into this frigid icy water. Oh, at least I see at least I see a trailblaze on that side, so I know I'm not doing this for nothing. Uh, uh, Alright. Oh, this is not going to feel good at all. 
This is not going to feel good. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. That feels amazing. Woo. Okay. That wasn't that tough at all. That was not really that tough. Aside from the freezing cold. Now I gotta dry off before my feet totally freeze. Oh, I gotta find a place to put my pack down. Alright. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Hope I didn't leave anything on that side. Pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm on the other side with my boots on. And man, it felt so good to put my socks back on again. <laughs> and my boots. Oh, my feet were icicles. There's a trailblaze right there. And I'm going to try and pay close attention now. Because I really don't want to get lost again. It's, it sucks having to backtrack. Alright trail. What do you got for me next? This trailblaze is kind of weird. It's like off to an angle. Sometimes you can figure out the direction of the trail just based on the angle of how it's put on the tree. but. It's not always a guarantee. So, I don't know. All I can do now is just go a little bit forward in the direction that I, th that I think I'm supposed to go and then just check where I am on the GPS to see if I'm still on the trail. That's oh, there's a blaze right there. Man. So happy when I find a trailblaze. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're good. So up there, I see a blue blaze. Down there, looks like a, just a beautiful area for camping. And then down here, oh look, that bridge, yes. Okay, so what I wasn't sure about when I came up here was where exactly do you make that right turn to complete the far end of the loop? and come back down the other side. So I came up from that way and then I saw that there was a trail going this way with blue blazes and I'm I'm thinking this is the North Country Scenic Trail. So, whoa, I just slipped and fell. Okay. So, because I'm trying to walk and video at the same time, I landed in the, in the snow. Okay, very slippery here. I would wholeheartedly recommend micro spikes. Don't be dumb like me. <laughs> Come out here without micro spikes. So far, I've only gotten lost once. So I'm doing okay. <laughs> for me. That's pretty good for me. Okay. There's a sign. We're on the North Country Trail right here with the blue blaze and there's the next blaze up there except that there's no footprints going that way and 
if you look to the right, there is the white diamond of the Minister Creek Trail and lots of footprints going this way. So this is where we make the right turn and continue down the Minister Creek Trail heading back towards where we started. So making good time. It is about 12.30, 12.25. Snow-covered boulders, pretty cool. Look at all that. Very ominous looking. Devastation. Look at this nice bridge we got coming up here. Look at that, huge chunks of ice. I thought there was a rock, but it's not. It's just, it's just ice. Look at that. So I'm climbing over an ice scramble. It's probably a rock scramble. Alrighty, we're getting there. I just came from that way, the north loop, climbed up that hill. That's the middle loop there. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. This is the way back to the parking lot. So these are the conditions out here. Snow covered ice. You think you, you could just step somewhere and then your foot goes in and you are down. It is a it is a skating rink out here. All this snow is covering up a sheet of ice. So, we are almost back to the car. I'm not like super starving, but uh, you know, I didn't eat, I still have the dinner that I never ate. You know, worst came to worst, if I had to camp another night, at least I have a dinner. I'm looking forward to that nice, relaxing six hour drive home. With a nice cup of real coffee, not instant. <laughs> and uh, there's that ice again. And uh, a nice, big, juicy burger. Oh, man.
get the ice scraper out. Can't go anywhere until I scrape off my windows.